a federal discrimination lawsuit has been filed against U.S. Airways for allegedly refusing to allow two young black men to sit in first class unless they change their clothes. The men claim they were shocked, confused, and humiliated by what happened. But as Leanne Gregg reports, the airline claims it was following policy. McCraig Warren and his brother Miles were headed home from Denver to Los Angeles after attending a relative's funeral last August. They say when they got to their gate, a U.S. Airways employee denied them access to their first class seats unless they removed their baseball caps, put on a button up shirt and nicer shoes, and changed from jeans into slacks. You know, I've never experienced discrimination like that before. McCraig and Miles returned to the gate in different attire. When they finally took their seats in first class, they say they were shocked to see two young men, one Caucasian, the other Filipino, wearing jeans, a hooded sweatshirt, looking anything but the business casual they were told was required. It's just racial discrimination. Uh, that, that's it. In a lawsuit filed this week in federal court, the Warrens are seeking punitive damages for discrimination and emotional distress. But both men say it's not money they're after. An apology would be nice. In a written statement, U.S. Airways said, quote, We welcome customers of all ethnicities and backgrounds and do not tolerate discrimination of any kind. The Warrens had gotten their tickets at a reduced rate through an airline employee buddy pass given to them by a family friend. Because of that, the airline said they had to follow, quote, company policies that set clothing requirements and prohibited such items as baseball caps, T-shirts, and beach footwear. But no such policy was mentioned until the Warrens had already received their boarding passes and were at the gate. Policy, discrimination, or both. It's now up to the courts to decide. Leanne Gregg, NBC News, Los Angeles.